morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever the fluff you are. And you join me again at that great old demolition site. Which I'll zoom out properly. As you can see right there, little portals which as uh, Tony our elder gamer has said it kind of does look like a little bit of a pillbox or a war bunker thing but I think that was one of the uh, just parts of how they built the internal structures everyone seems to be on a bit of a break at the moment but it is around lunchtime so we've just got the little diggers over there digging around most of this lot is coming on and a heck of a lot as that has gone and it does look like that is just like they zoom you in as was also mentioned on oh, Tony's there's those little uh, really nice cuts it probably is where all of the um, slab ends are and everything where all the slabs meet good old joints in the end of them does look kind of clean on there as well so I'm just going to back up and give you a proper view from the street end well it does look like, like quite a lot has gone on which I will be down that way in a little bit and I'm going to go back the other way and just have a yeah I know the um, kind of the taste testing thing that was uh, a given for Monday because I couldn't come down because uh, I was busy with other stuff is with life and all that but you know that's there uh, there is one plan of another vlog at the rugby so another episode of bleeding cherry and white that one's going to be battle of the borough at the dw wigan and lee wigan coming off the uh, back of uh, losing to kr on golden point and lee getting through after uh, giving uh, st helens a bit of a, a bit of a bump <laughs> And most likely, he will be there, so you will also get the Revo. And as we just get to that point of where I look through the usual portal, I can give you all a good view of that and then I can uh, show you everything else. see more of this is all cleaned up it is getting cleaner but yeah it is getting a lot better and uh, they have cut more of the portal area up for where that new staircase is going in so that's going to be uh, a good one there's a lot of stuff there where it's all going to be quite good So, once I get to another point, I will unpause you, but until then, pause. m and building still empty, still no idea of what's going on there. And as you can see, the scaff is still all the way across the frontage. So this will not be long for there. And as I said in the previous one, the new plans which leads on down there none of it fits in with that it looks the right shape but not the right colors put the black and white color on it and it'll look better don't leave it in that sand and brown but hey and once scaff would be gone and then peering over the top of that you would then be able to see that ugly ass bronze edifice at the side of what is supposed to be a cinema and in my opinion that looks Blah. Well, that's just my opinion. I don't like that idea. It doesn't fit in. Yeah, I know we've got a hodgepodge of all different ages of buildings and all different colours and styles and everything, but at least they kind of match in some form of way. They sort of try to blend in. When you're trying to force a blend, it doesn't quite work. Anyway, pause. Hey, up! Oh, we have noise and we have some action. 
something's having a month. Let's just get there. We can have a quick look at what it's eating. It looks like it's chewing its way through. At least that giving it a good go. Put a water sprayer out because uh, the sky ain't helping. Nice and bright and warm today. This is not peeing it down. But that structure is not long for this world. It's still got that marvellous mound of muck. A lot of it's over there, but that's having a good munch. Let's have a look, see if I can see anything over here. I can see it better than you can probably see it on this camera. There ain't a lot left over there. Oh, and they've started taking the canopy out as well. So some of the canopy over there has gone out. So that's uh, quite a nice bit of uh, the canopy. And the top of it over there has had a bit of a munch as well. Let's zoom in on that bit. That's had a good, good munch, and a lot of this is gone. It'll be fun trying to watch that thing come down. But this is definitely catching on and coming along nicely. Especially when you get to pop around through it all and give it a good look. Next bit is probably wants to start taking this lot down. That side over there with the arch in the gallery, so I'll probably be coming down next. Most likely, I can't really tell because I don't know their plan. But they've got all this lot going on, and that machine's having a good old munch too. So that's going to be a lot of fun. Anyway, I'll keep this bit short and sweet, but you can see the shaft in there. I don't know whether, I can't remember whether that was actually a shaft or not, but. A nice little tube that goes all the way through, so I'm thinking it's a lift shaft. I keep losing my bearings on all this lot. We'll get over to the final side, and then we'll wrap up from there. So until we get over there, again, it's pause. Starts of a mural going along. Nice old canvas for him anyway. Now this old space, Jesus, is uh, opening up faster and faster every week. This is a mess. But it's opening up faster all the time. Which won't really be long until they've got it all the way down there and got all the way down the other way. Now this is uh, just fast work now. As has been said a few times, not just in mine, but in uh, Elder Gamer. You can see this place was built, but it ain't out to come in, but still. I'm still going to keep saying it. Guys, help us out where we can view in. Put some portals in. There's a couple of spaces where we could have a couple of portals in just so that we could have a sneak peek. It'd be nice because it's difficult trying to get a good view of what's actually going on just behind the hordes when you can't see it but man this has gone on fast won't be long until uh, that canopy's gone all the rebar and everything in there and all the stanchions and everything and how it's all stood up it's taking a battering but it's holding up quite well but it won't last they'll take it down I'm going to keep saying it's a shame that they've got to take it down, but that's what happens when councils get an idea in brain. Oh yeah, let's make it look better. Ripping it all out rather than modifying. Yeah, that M1 market gate was. did have a leaky roof and it did have some issues. We still could have uh, taken a tin opener to it, sorted it out and modified it. 
areas that weren't working very well you could have given that a bit of jiggery pokery that would have cost probably half as much as this shit but hey that's just my words anyway give you a quick look from the other end and then it will be good to buy let's have a look at what I can spot from over here yeah you just have to just view the floor a second trying to keep as many people's faces off of it as possible now this has gone quite well and this gives you a bigger expanse of what's going on there and if I can be a bit cheeky because I am a short ass. But that is going on quite quick. Anyway, if you like the content and you want to keep it going, so we're going to smash that like. If you want to help contribute and get those numbers up, then uh, give that subscribe button a good old spear tackle and make sure you slam it through. Get some, get some uh, comms up in the comm box down below. Share the bushes out of this. And this has been me signing out. Peace. See you star side. See you in the stars. Do you head in. Have a fluffing good time. And goodbye.